I'm going to say this, and some of y'all may not like what I have to say. Some of y'all may agree. I don't care either way. Um, I'm glad that, you know, women are sticking together, you know, on Jonathan Major's ass because I'm going to just be honest, you know, um, that's one thing that the rapper Kia, you know, the my neck and my back girl, that's one thing that she said that was true. You know, a lot of people don't want to admit it, but a lot of the times, you know, people call, you know, um, people like, you know, like hating on black men when they call them out on stuff like as if, you know, because of everything we all know that's going on with police brutality out here and stuff like that, they feel like black men should get away with some of the stuff that they go, that they um do because of everything else that they have to go through. And I call BS. I feel like whether the person is black, white, Spanish, Mexican, whatever, blue, purple, yellow, pink, whatever. If you are wrong, you need to be held accountable. I don't care if he's a success story or not. If he's out here abusing women or, you know, um, hitting women or whatever the case may be, he needs to be held accountable. You know, stop trying to, you know, Make it seem like because black men go through enough as far as the judicial system that they should be able to get away with stuff when they are wrong. If they are wrong, they are wrong. I told y'all, you know, a lot of the times, and I'm with the rapper Kia when she said that. I'm with her. You know, a lot of the, and she got a lot of backlash when she said that. Y'all know I, when Kia is wrong, she is wrong. But when she is right, she is right. And like she said, a lot of the times, People don't want to admit it, but a lot of the times, a lot of black dudes get away with so much that they do. Like, for example, they out here not taking care of their kids, um, beating on women, you know, uh, doing stuff they ain't got no business doing. And they get away with it for so long, right? And a lot of the times, their karma comes back through the judicial system. They get sprayed for crimes they didn't commit. They get held down for a long time because a lot of people don't want to admit it, but that shit comes back in different ways. Karma comes back in love, health, death, and wealth, okay? You know, I have a speech impediment, so a lot of my T's going to sound like F's and a lot of my F's going to sound like T's or whatever. But with that being said, that shit comes back, you know, and we need, as a, as a society, we need to stop trying to give people a pass because of other stuff. You, if that makes sense, like, okay, we're going to get them a pass because this happened, or we're going to get them a pass because that happened. You know, we need to stop that. We need to hold people accountable. If he out here doing stuff he ain't got no business doing, I'm reading in articles, a lot of people saying, well, we been knew he was a menace. We been knew he was a menace. Okay, so why the hell are we protecting him? Like, the guys, are some we got need to call a thing a thing. I told y'all. I've had two black guys spit in my face, okay? I, I told y'all the bus story time when I was fighting a girl and two black guys that was beating me upside the head from the back to get me up off of her, okay? A lot of the times, a lot of these black guys, they do stuff to women, and they feel like, I told y'all, when, when the guy in the Chinese restaurant spit in my face, when I picked up a chair before I threw it, he said, you wouldn't dare throw a chair at me. Though, and then I beamed it, and I threw a couple on. Anything in there I could get my hands on, I threw it at his ass. It's like y'all do stuff to people, and then it's like y'all don't want consequences for it. You just spit in my face. You think I'm not going to retaliate? I know I can't beat you, but any way possible, I'm going to retaliate. It's like y'all do stuff, and then it's like y'all don't want consequences. Y'all don't want... It's, and I'm seeing a pattern with y'all. And it's not all of y'all. For the people out there that say, oh, she black man bashing, I'm not saying that. It's not all of y'all. But we're not about to sit here and act like it's not majority of y'all. If that makes sense, all of y'all are not that way. I have colleagues that are guys that they are very polite, very polite. So I'm not going to say it's all of y'all as a whole. But we're not going to sit here and act like a lot of y'all are very trifling. Y'all do stuff and y'all don't want consequences. And the first thing y'all holler is trying to take another black man down in America. 
You know, when y'all do stuff, y'all think a person is a horrible person if they call the police on y'all. I mean, come on now. Like, what do you expect? She trying to take him down because she called the police. If he beating her upside the head, come on now. Let's just, this 2023, we're not about to sit here and play the women are stronger than men things a game. We all know for the most part, most guys are stronger than women. We not about to play that card. That was real cute back in first and second grade, whatever. We are grown adults now. For the most part, we know men are stronger than women. We not going to play that card. And another thing, a lot of the times, I'm going to just call a thing a thing. If you are wrong, you need to go to jail. And point blank period, Jonathan needs to go to jail. He needs to go to jail. He needs to sit down for some time. Obviously, he has a history of putting his hands on women. Has he? Have we heard of him putting his hand on a man yet? Come on now, let's. Are we about to go there? He has a. He's a repeat offender. He needs to go to jail. Miss me with the black man keeping the black man down. I told y'all once before. I'm one of those people that feel like if a person did it, they need to do the time. They need to do the time. Y'all don't ever want me voting on laws because I'm telling you right now, a lot of people are going to jail. Point blank, period. We need to clean these streets up and get these menaces out the street. I don't care if you're white, black, Mexican, Puerto Rican. If you did it, you did it. And Jonathan needs to go to jail. And not only does he need to go to jail, he needs to sit down for some time point blank per it and let him beat on them guys in jail let him beat on them guys in jail the same way he beat on her let him attempt to and let's see how it goes for him